What is going on guys, Zedrup here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a working door with the scripts in Halo 5 Forge. So this is really easy to do guys, once you've got your building or whatever you want, or even just your piece that you want to uh, move for your door, you're going to uh, get a switch here, and we're going to first go into um, the object properties, we're going to go to the bottom, we're going to add one script, as you can see I've already done here. We're going to set the condition to on interaction so that it uh, works when we interact with it. The action we're going to set to power set and the channel we're going to set to alpha. And then the state we are going to put to toggle. From on or off we're going to set that one to toggle. Then we're going to leave that, that's all we need to do. And then we're going to come to our door here or whatever you're going to be using for your door. And the same thing, come into object properties, go down to the bottom to scripts. And this one you're going to add a couple scripts. This is what... Uh, is going to be reacting to uh, to the messages that you send it. So on here, we're first going to go for the very first script we do. The condition we are going to set to on message received. The channel is going to be alpha so that it knows uh, the right channel to work with. And then the action is going to be to power set and the channel again to alpha. Then you're going to go again and come to the scripts and add a new script. And for the second script, you are going to um, you're going to set the condition to on power state the channel to alpha and the state to on and uh, then you want your action to be move offset and that's gonna this is gonna move the object whichever way you want it to I've chosen uh, Y horizontal and 24 because it is gonna be moving up and down so it needs to move quite a ways down so that it is no longer in the way you could go left or right and you wouldn't need to move it as many units um, it doesn't really matter about that the only thing that is important here is when you move it in the opposite direction see here it's positive 24 you'd want it to be negative 24 so that it moves back to its original place so once we have this for our second script all set up that's all you need to do just uh, the distance the move offset and on power state and alpha we're going to come up again and add a new script and then when we come down to uh, to our new script number three again the condition is going to be on power state the channel alpha but this time we're going to set the state to off and this is um, again we're gonna put the action to move offset and again whatever one whatever direction whatever coordinates you had your movement set in you're gonna do the opposite of what you had before and then again you can come in and change the time you see I've got mine set to here at 2 it's gonna take two seconds to do it as opposed to one what it's normally set as uh, but that is all that you need to do guys it's um might seem like a lot at first, but it's actually really tricky once, I mean, really tricky. It's really easy, sorry. It's super, super easy once you figure out uh, how to do this. Um, I, I didn't even know you could do it like this before. I thought there must be a way because I thought you had to use two terminals, but it makes a lot more sense, obviously, to just use one. But there you see, we can uh, interact with this and the door comes up and the door comes down. That's how I wanted it to be. Of course, you can make it move left or right and disappear into the wall and whatever else. But uh, then we have, you can put another terminal on the other side and since the uh, terminal is what's quite easy to do, it's it's once you've got the door set up, all you need to do is uh, add your script, set the condition to the same as uh, as the other one on interaction, set the action to power set and the channel to alpha and the state to toggle, and then that's going to work exactly the same as uh, as your other switch. So you can work it from the inside as well and lock people out. So pretty cool, guys. Hope you enjoy this one. Really easy to do if it. Uh, seems hard or you're having trouble with it please leave me a comment down below and we will see you guys in the next video